Uh, we've been talking about sacred space, and as many of you know, we feel very privileged to be in the holy city of Jerusalem, Yerushalayim al Quds. And as you can see, together we are Christians, Muslims, and Jews together, praying side by side as we do with praying together in Jerusalem. And we're going to hear a shit short. <laughs> we have a dog as well. I don't understand dog. Going. But we're going to hear a short prayer from each of the traditions. We're going to start with Sheikh Jamal Din giving a brief Muslim prayer. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I am Sheikh Jamal Din from uh, Jerusalem from the city of peace. I am from Mount of Olives, Mount of Peace. Come to you to say Assalamu Alaikum. God bless you. We pray for peace every day. I love you everyone and my friend all together brother and sister we love you I want to pray to God to help us for peace. The first of Surah Al Quran Al Fatiha. A'udhu Billahi Min Al Shaytan Al Rajeem. Bismillah Al Rahman Al Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضال Amen. Thank you. I love you very much. Thank you. Yeah. My colleague and dear friend, Father Russ McDougall from Tantul, will introduce a Christian prayer. <coughs> this is the prayer that concludes the the liturgy of St. John Chrysostom, which is the, the, the usual way that Eastern Orthodox churches celebrate the Eucharist. O Lord, who bless those who bless you and sanctify those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And forsake us not who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to communities of faith in every place, to religious and civic leaders, and to all your people. <laughs> For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship now and forever, unto endless ages. Amen. And uh, Rabbi David Rosen. I am going to recite Psalm 91. Psalm 91 has a very central place in Jewish liturgy, as so many of the Psalms do. It is particularly uh, employed in times of distress and of difficulty. And most appropriately, this psalm refers to the dangers of plague 
and of pestilence. And that seems to be so appropriate to the challenge that we are facing at this particular time. Above all, it is an acknowledgement of divine majesty and protection and guidance that we call upon to be able to bestow, be bestowed upon us all. I will start off in Hebrew and then continue in English. <laughs> He that dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shade of the Almighty. I say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he shall deliver you from the trapper's snare and from the destructive plague. He shall cover you with his protection, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be a shield and a buckler. You shall not be afraid of terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalls in darkness, nor of the plague that ravages at noon. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, it shall not come near to you. For you, O Lord, are my refuge. You have made the most high, your dwelling place shall no evil shall befall you, neither shall any disease come near to your tent. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you on their hands, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You shall tread over the panther and the adder, over the lion and the serpent shall you trample, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he knows my name. When he calls upon me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and I will let him see my salvation. Amen. Amen. I'd just like to acknowledge the presence here also of Sheikh Ibrahim, my friend Raid, and my dear friend Hala Bukhari, who've joined us as well, so that we can pray side by side. We always finish our praying together in Yerushalayim and praying together in Jerusalem with a silence. And the silence has two purposes that um, we can use them in, in different levels or different balances. The first is gratitude, to just be grateful for the wonderful opportunity we have of being together among friends and for praying together. So gratitude is one thing, but the other is also the appeal to the Almighty that we take care of those who are in need and our prayers for those who are not as fortunate as ourselves. So we will spend a moment together, you on the other end of the Zoom, camera and those of us here in Yerushalayim will spend just a moment in silence together in both gratitude for what we have and in the appeal for those who are in need and don't have what we have. So let's have a moment of silence together. I, I don't know how much you could hear, but we have heard prayers and bells, and we really feel that we're surrounded by sanctity here in Israel. We'll hear 13 voices. I will hear the most concern. I, 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 want to, I want to thank you for joining us in silence. Alon, it's back to you if you'd like uh, to open for discussion, but it's shalom and shalom from here in Yerushalayim. Thank you, Peter. So uh, 
uh, two announcements and then and then we can take a little bit of time for for people to comment if they like the one is that the text that david had used uh were posted on the side notes uh by elizabeth so uh if anybody wants to review them they're available the second is also to say that our summer school program will be focusing on religion in times of crisis and moving as as we heard now almost from, from all contributors today from 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 the real to the zoom it'll be taking place this year on zoom and and all all of you all of us uh are welcome uh to to join just uh we've been sending out and we'll be sending out messages but even just do elijah summer school you'll find the references to it uh, we have the possibility of having a few minutes i think in group uh discussion if anybody wants to comment on what there was and then from there we can have spontaneous uh, free form uh, conversation in small rooms. Is there anyone, uh, and there, there's quite a number of, uh, of uh, teachers and religious leaders who are in this conversation. Is there anybody who wants to respond, query, contribute to the conversation we had uh, previously to the three contributions? Uh, I'm going to take a moment of silence. And if that remains the case, then uh, we will say goodbye to everyone. And whoever would like to chat freely can do so. No questions, no comments. That's perfect. OK. So thank you to, thank you to all three contributors for, for a beautiful and well-rounded experience. Uh, uh, thank you for allowing us to find new ways to reach each other, to be together, and to continue serving you. And uh, uh, I suppose, Elizabeth, it's now up to you to facilitate the, the move into the Zoom rooms. Whoever, whoever, whoever says goodbye, say goodbye. And whoever stays around will be put into one or more Zoom rooms. Okay, thank you.